I'm Dr. Ravi. I practice internal medicine and phlebology. Phlebology is a new field of medicine where we assess and treat patients with venous disease. It is estimated that about 20% of American women and 7% of American men develop venous disease in their lifetime. Among this, about 20% will get venous ulcers because of their varicose veins. I'm going to discuss today about the varicose veins. The leg veins are divided into deep and superficial venous system. The superficial venous system drains into the deep venous system by direct connection and also there are other connections called perforator veins. All the veins have valves. The valves direct the blood flow towards the heart. The deep venous system is embedded in the leg muscles. When the muscles contract, they squeeze the blood towards the heart and the blood is emptied into the heart. Aided by the gravity, when the blood flow is blocked, the blood pools in the leg and causes pressure in the veins and varicose veins are formed. The varicose vein can cause symptoms such as pain, swelling, achiness and redness. When the varicose veins are left untreated, they can cause skin changes and also they can cause ulceration. In fact, it's well known that uh, the varicose vein problem is a hereditary problem. Several family members can be affected by this. After all these assessment, we would do an ultrasound of the leg, which would be a comprehensive ultrasound, where we do the venous mapping. By this, we try to find out where the problem is and how we could correct it. Management of the varicose vein starts with simple conservative measures. The first and the important one would be regular exercise. It will help the veins empty into the heart. Also, patients can keep their leg elevated when they are sitting. We also advise the patients to keep their legs above their heart level by keeping the heel up at least for about 10 minutes twice a day. Other measures such as not wearing the high heels, controlling their weight are important too. One other measures we do is wearing support hose. This is one of the most important intervention we do to the varicose vein patients. These are special compression hose where the pressure is high in the lower leg and it gradually decreases towards the thigh. Because of this, the blood is squeezed up towards the heart, which aids the emptying of the blood in the vein. Patients should wear this compression hose most of the time when they are standing or sitting still. Also, we do ask patients to take some medications such as ibuprofen or Motrin, which can decrease the inflammation and the pain. Horse chestnut seed extract is also known to help decreasing the pain and swelling of varicose vein. If these simple measures don't help, then we consider doing office procedures. Office procedures are done under local anesthesia and patients can walk immediately after the procedure. If you like any more information about varicose veins or any other health issue, you could contact Ohio Medical Group or North Ohio Heart locations. Thank you.